Wrinkled Lips Fix Tips and Tricks. Hi, I'm Shelly and welcome to Fabulous 50s. Today's video is a few quick tips on how to apply lipstick and lip liners and lip gloss if you've got lip wrinkles. I'm going to show you how to avoid a lipstick bleed and I'm also going to show you how to make your lips look more youthful as you're getting older. The first tip I'm going to share with you is the thing that you do before you even buy your lipstick. So when you're in the store and you want to test the color of your lipstick, you apply the lipstick to your fingertip, not to the back of your hand or to your wrist. And the reason is that the fingertip is the closest you'll get to the skin on your lips. And our skin on our hands is very, very different and it's going to throw a different shade. Put your lipstick here like this. And when you put it here and here, you're going to get the closest match. So that's a really cool trick. When you've got wrinkles on top of your lip and your lips are lined, it's a lot safer and a lot more gentle to wear a nude lipstick or a lighter color, which is great. But there's some rules you've got to follow with applying a nude lipstick. If you go too light, it can make you look very, very sick. So the general rule of thumb is to choose two colors darker than your skin tone, and that's a good color, and then go either warm or cool, depending on what your undertone is. So let me tell you a trick that they use, and this will help explain it a little bit better. The special effects makeup artists actually make lips look very, very pale if they want to make one of the actors dead or look very, very sick. And what they'll do is go a couple of shades lighter than the skin tone and they'll add a cool color and then you look dead. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like on me. See what that's done? It's made my lips look sickly and it's just too light. And then if I added a lip gloss on top of that, a pigmented gloss. This is so beautiful, by the way. This is Natasha Denona, but it's too light for me. I can wear this over a darker color. But if I go in and intensify the lightness, it just washes me out and it's just not very good. So remember that when you're choosing a nude color, go two shades darker than your skin tone and that will be perfect for you. The real perfect color for everybody's lip is their natural color. And you find your natural color from going inside your lip. And this color here is your natural color and you choose a liner to match that color. And if I draw a line inside my lip and match it to that color, they're the same. So that way I know this is the perfect nude color for me. But if I was just going for a very natural look, I could wear this and it would mimic my actual real lip color so it would look right. And if you've got lots of lip wrinkles or any lining at all, using a lip liner is what you need to do because that's going to stop any lipstick running into your lines. And if I was going to add a little bit of gloss to this to make it more bright, I could just add a little bit of gloss to the bottom of my lip and not so much on top because I don't want it to bleed into the lines. And that's just a very natural look. I'm going to take that off. When you're in the shop testing lipsticks, here's a trick. Always take the lipstick off, but then apply a little bit of foundation over the top of your lips because when you try the next color, you don't want that to mix in with the leftovers of the color you had on before because some of them have stains in them and then you can't get a really true indication of the color. Nude colors are more safe to wear when you've got lots of lines and wrinkles on top of your lips, but we don't all want to have nude all the time. So you can go darker. When you go very, very dark and deep, it does thin your lips out. But I'm going to show you a technique that actually brings your lips in and makes them a little bit wider. 
I'm going to use this lip liner here. It's Kat Von D. This color is Smith's. This is very bright so I can easily demonstrate for you. Kat Von D lip liners are really great if you've got wrinkles on your lips because it doesn't budge. Once it goes on your lips, it doesn't feather and that's what we want formulas that are going to stay put and once you put this on and then your lipstick on top you've got a much better chance of keeping your lines free of any residue from your lipstick so here's what you do you map out your lips you mark out your lips just from the inner corner of your mouth and we are going to draw a false line before our lips finish i'll show you what i mean So I've drawn my lip liner to not go all the way out to the edges and you just gently taper it in before you get to the edge of the mouth. And what this does is it brings your lips in and makes them look more youthful, which is great for us. And you can slightly, slightly overdraw the line that you naturally have to make your lips appear a little bit fuller. But you don't need to do too much here and if you're just practicing don't go too far out the lines because you don't want anything running into your lip wrinkles and i'm going to show you in a minute what this looks like when i go all the way out there's a big difference okay when you've done your lip liner and you can touch it it's very very dry it's not going to run another thing you can do is add a little bit of concealer around the lines of your lips and then set that with powder and that's going to be extra security that nothing's going to go into your lip lines so you just grab a little brush and then you can outline your lips with some concealer And then on top of that, you just add a tiny, tiny bit of translucent powder and you dab it in. You just dab it. It's only a tiny little bit. So you've got that set now. You could go out just like that with a tiny bit of gloss in the middle lip and your makeup is not going to run into your lines for sure. To intensify this look or take it down a notch you add color to it with a lipstick and the best lipstick we can buy if we've got lines and wrinkles on our lips is a matte or a liquid lipstick i'm going to start off by showing you a lighter one on top of this dark color this is the sephora lip paint and it's a good nude but i'm putting it on top of a darker color and what we're going to do is use color theory we're going to add light to the middle part of our lip with a lighter color and that's going to bring them forward and then the darker color on the outside is going to recede so again we're using color theory to bring our lips in and make them look more full So you'll start off like that and then you'll tap it in till it's all blended. So the combination of these two colors has given me a warm pink and that's set. This isn't going to budge and it's not going to go anywhere. And I can add some gloss to that because I've got a good base. These MAC lip glasses are very good and they don't run. 
so that'll just bring the color to life a bit another thing that you can do is add a little bit of highlight to your bottom lip so again we're adding light to the bottom lip so that's going to make it come forward and the correct proportion for perfect lips is a third up top and two thirds down the bottom and if you've got a thin bottom lip you can add a little bit underneath and add some highlight to it so just here because you want to bring it forward and then that really helps with that proportion of two thirds and a third and just add a bit of gloss to that so every little bit helps using those products I've got a very clean line around my lip line so the wrinkles are still there which I'm really upset about but they're not going anywhere just yet but I know that my lipstick is going to stay put and I still get a nice line I'm going to take this off now and then I'm going to apply my lip liner in a way that it is going to go into the lip lines and wrinkles around here it's not nice I'll show you okay instead of going in at the edges we're going to take it all the way out to the edges <laughs> and this is how I remember my grandma applying her lipstick <laughs> and she always had bleeding here in her wrinkles I'll never forget that <laughs> okay so we've gone out to the exact corners of our lips and made that line really prominent now if I add a lipstick on top of that I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown pale coral and take it all the way to the edges and can you see how it looks a lot worse when my lip liner and lipstick comes all the way out compared to this where my lips are being brought forward it's just a much nicer look and if I was to wear this out for a couple of hours or even a couple of minutes I think it's going to start running down these wrinkles here I can already see it starting so yeah this is a really good trick to know and if I add a gloss all the way out and all the way up it's kind of a mess <laughs> and I am not going to feel safe walking out like this because I know it's going to bleed so if you have lip wrinkles just like me I hope you enjoyed these tips and I really hope they helped you please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and share it with your friends thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful week